what's up guys how's everyone doing today I'm doing well thank you for asking I hope that you were asking if not I told you I'm doing well, well this is gonna be a final product review nothing super formal but it's going to be the end of uh, the review for the Dragon Touch Vision 3 Pro. As many of you know, my kids got it for me for Christmas. So I'm not out any money. So that makes it okay. Now I did kind of review on it uh, in another video. And I'll try to link it in at the end of this video. Uh, if, if I can remember. If not, just go look for it. It's not too far back. Um, yeah, I used it today on my ride. Um, 1-11-2020 is whenever I used it on my ride. Uh, and I can say that for a fact, this would be the bare extreme minimum bottom of the barrel budget action cameras are there worse than this I don't know I've only tried two which is this one and the one that I've had for a couple of years that actually does really good um, I'm gonna say this is right there along the lines of the bottom tier um, and upon further inspection, uh, going against what I said in my previous video on it, it is not built anywhere near uh, the same as the, I can't pronounce that one's name, it's, uh, it's A-I-Q-I-U. Say it how you will. That camera there is built solid. Like you can thump it like so and it doesn't sound like just hollow plastic it sounds solid or this uh, is just a real thin hollow sounding clicking plastic that one is a lot more solid um, I don't know what I was thinking whenever I initially reviewed it but uh, it's it's nowhere near the quality build of that camera. Even, I mean, just... It, it, and it has its goods. It has some goods about it. But what you're going to need it for is bad. It, it's just bad. Number one, we'll start with the build quality. It's, it's as cheap a plastic as you're going to want anything made out of. Plain and simple. Um, the audio, the audio sucks. There's, there's no tricks around it. There's no work around. There's no nothing. The audio on this sucks. It just does. Also, the video quality is not that great. It's okay, but you can tell a difference between this and that one. Uh, there is a difference. And the thing is, there's not a huge price difference in these two cameras. When I bought that one there, that I've had for two years, it was $80. And I assume that these Dragon Touch are anywhere between $30 to $50, $60. It's not a huge difference when you're talking budget action cameras, but it's evidently a big enough difference. Now, uh, I was a little harsh on the video quality. The video quality is not horrible. But what it does is whenever you, you're you ready to record, it kind of has a little stutter to it whenever it starts. So whenever you're watching the clips, it kind of has a little kind of a stutter to it whenever it starts. Where this one doesn't. Uh, and again, the audio is just, it, it's not great um, at all. Um, what else? The touch screen that you hear so much about and everybody wants and I've wanted one I've wanted to have it and see what it's all about it's very annoying 
to some degree and I mentioned it before in my other video um, I hold my camera a lot whenever I'm riding without a without any kind of a case a clip case protective anything uh, I just hold it like this hey look around blah 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 see I'm fiddling with it I'm moving it around I'm having to do this I go down here and I film on my bars and I go back here and I look around and see I'm moving around a lot when you're doing that you're going to hit that screen. So a touch screen is not ideal for someone who likes to handle their cameras. Unless there's a way to lock it. I haven't found a way to lock it, which, you know, that would be a nice option. Uh, but for those that do like the touch screen, hey, it's got a touch screen and it's responsive. It does its thing. It also has buttons to cycle through and uh, do what needs to be done. You know, here, 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 has your basic buttons. Um, and I mentioned it before, that it does have a tripod mount. That's great. Every camera made should have a tripod mount. Every camera. That camera doesn't. That would be one of the main cons, if there is a con, uh, that it doesn't have a tripod mount. Now, do I need it? Probably not. But it would it would give me the option to not have to have a case around it or anything, you know, because uh, the case, of course, is how you normally clip these kind of cameras onto a tripod. It has the little thing to clip and unscrew. Huh? Anyway, if it has a tripod mount, you just screw the tripod right onto it, and it's there. So that's a good option. That is every every camera needs that. Touch screen, not crazy about. Um, another thing, the video. Uh, like if I were to take a video, and I've done a demonstration of it <coughs> in another video. I do a lot of videos indoors with these cameras. And this one, you don't want to do that with too much unless you have really good lighting. Uh, or else it's going to be dark. Um, I can walk around with that camera in here with this lighting. Uh, and everything's lit up, looks perfectly fine. You do it with this one, and it looks dark as night. Um, this does have exposure compensation, you know, where you can go up plus or minus uh, two, three steps here and there. Doesn't seem to do anything. That one has it, does it, and it works. So it doesn't seem to really do nothing with this one. Another issue is the remote. I love the remote for that camera. I use the remote for that camera all the time greatest thing in the history of cameras. Uh, I don't know if GoPros come with them or any other type of cameras, but I know a lot of these budget ones do. They're amazing. You need a, you need a remote. You do. Once you have it, you need it. <laughs> uh, the one for this camera has a delay. And not only is it a delay, you have to hold the button down for it to actually register. Whereas the one for that one, it's just click, 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 you know, instant. Click, click, click. No big deal. This one here, you have to hold it down and then it'll start. It'll, you know, beep and start. Don't like that. You need to have quick, quickness. You don't want to be holding buttons down to get stuff to work. Um, so, you know... If you are on an extreme budget and your standards are way down here with the things that I've mentioned and you can handle it, the things that I've mentioned, then okay. You, you know, these extreme budget cameras might be for you. Um, this will be okay for certain situations for me. A lot of the time, it'll be okay if I don't really want audio or maybe something if I mount it to face the back and get some back views or something or different views here and there and not really as important as the main then you know it'll probably be okay but otherwise I would steer clear of the Dragon Touch now I don't know what if this is a newer version I really don't know if you search on Google you see like two three four different body types and and different stuff so I honestly don't know what version this is, 
so there may be later uh, later models I guess that means newer uh, that are better I don't know but if I had to choose between the Dragon Touch and the AIQ IU I would go with this one all day long uh, to me I don't have really any major issues with this one except the menu system is just a little clunky uh, you know you're sitting there going through a, a million options you know a million different things and you go past it so then it's like Ugh. so then you try to go back and it don't really go back it just kind of starts over from the very beginning or something so the menu system on this one's a little eh I wish it had a tripod mount I'm not even going to wish for a touch screen anymore uh, the audio uh, with the wind noise and that has been an issue with this camera but uh, I would settle f I, I can settle for that more than I can distorted crazy weird audio that comes from this so again if you have a kid 10 year old 12 year old 13 year old whatever that's wanting to go outside and and, and do some crazy stuff okay go for something super cheap if you want a little bit better go up another thirty dollars forty dollars go up to a hundred dollars that's still cheaper than GoPro so anyways guys that's my final thoughts and review on the Dragon Touch Vision 3 Pro let me make sure I got that right Vision 3 Pro yes that's it Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the videos. Uh, enjoy the channel. I do it all for fun for myself. I do it for you guys. Do it all for free. Enjoy every second of them, okay, guys? Go check them out. Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. Even when reviewing bottom of the barrel budget action camera that you got as a Christmas gift for free, so you're not out any money. So it's not a big deal. We'll see y'all later.